Life on Mars. A year of Martian exploration by the robot rover Perseverance. We welcome you to this new documentary, where we will see the achievements, discoveries and discoveries of the Perseverance robot rover and the Ingenuity helicopter on Mars. I'm engineer Hidakel Morrison, and thank you for choosing to watch this educational content. Join me in this exciting adventure in which we will discover the next place where these important Martian rocks with real possibilities of life on Mars will be studied. From an engineer's perspective. Let's start. Life on Mars is the main mission of the Perseverance rover Explorer robot of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA. In a revolutionary robotic mission that has already racked up a number of firsts since landing on the planet Mars a year ago on February 18, 2021. This six-wheeled scientific robot, controlled from planet Earth, has other major achievements in store as he moves toward his new destination and a new scientific campaign. After having been exploring a very interesting and important region of the Red Planet that millions of years ago was a lake. The Perseverance robot weighs about one ton, making it the heaviest robot rover to ever land on Mars. During his arrival, he sent back to Earth a dramatic video of his landing. It has already collected the first rock core samples from another planet, six so far, served as an indispensable base station for Ingenuity, the first helicopter on Mars, and piloted the in situ resource utilization experiment for oxygen generator on Mars, MOXIE, the first prototype oxygen generator on the Red Planet. The Perseverance rover, the most complex rover ever sent to Mars, has successfully completed the first year of its long mission to search for traces of past life on the Red Planet, keeping the world's scientists on edge. Let's see life on Mars. But first, I ask you to support us by liking this video, sharing this video with your contacts, and subscribing to this channel, turning on notifications, so with your support, we can continue to frequently generate interesting documentaries on aerospace technology. And the universe, thank you for contributing to the creation of educational content. The samples that the Perseverance rover robot has been collecting on Mars are of great scientific value and will provide a key timeline of the formation of Yezero Crater. Thomas Urbuchen, NASA scientist, with this official publication from the rover Perseverance account, NASA joyfully announced the first year of this promising and revolutionary mission, where it says, Time flies when you're exploring another planet. This week marks my one-year landiversary on Mars, February 18, and I have several drives planned and more rocks to see. Meanwhile, my team back on Earth has various ways you can celebrate my first year at Mars. In total, since arriving on Mars, the Perseverance rover has traveled a distance of 3.84 kilometers and has taken more than 100,000 photographs. In addition, as we indicated, it has collected six rock samples that have served to determine that the crater is made up of igneous rocks, that is, rocks from the fire resulting from the cooling and solidification of magma, molten rock. These samples are expected to be sent back to planet Earth, in a mission that has been called Sample Return, for analysis in which scientists will be able to date them and analyze their detailed composition. For its part, the Ingenuity helicopter weighing 1.8 kilograms, which is an important novelty of this mission, has made 19 flights over the surface of the Red Planet, accumulating a total of 34 minutes in the air. The Perseverance robot rover also recently broke the record for the longest distance traveled by a Mars rover in a single day, traveling almost 320 meters, 1,050 feet, on February 14, 2022, a journey conducted entirely using AutoNav, the driving software, or autonomous navigation that allows the Perseverance rover to find its own way around rocks and other obstacles. Towards these rocks, considered among the oldest on the planet Mars, the scientific investigation of the Perseverance rover is directed. What we see are the rocky records of an ancient delta of a river that fed the lake in the Yezero crater, a delta is a geographical accident formed at the mouth of a river by the fluvial sediments that are deposited there. An ideal place to search for signs of ancient microscopic life. Deltas accumulate sediment over time, potentially trapping organic matter and potential biosignatures, signs of life, that might be in the environment. That makes this destination, which the mission hopes to reach in approximately August 2022, an exploration of great excitement and anticipation. 
from this set of dark and weathered rocks the Perseverance rover will collect two additional samples using its drill on the end of its robotic arm and a complex sample collection system inside, Perseverance will continue to collect rock cores from the crater floor, with the which, together with the possible evidence of ancient microbial life, it will be possible to know the age or number of years of formation of that region. Scientists can estimate the age of a planet's or moon's surface by counting its impact craters, Older surfaces have had more time to accumulate impact craters of various sizes. In the case of the Moon, scientists were able to refine their estimates by analyzing lunar samples from Apollo. They have taken those lessons to reduce estimates of the age of surfaces on Mars. But having rock samples from the Red Planet would improve crater-based estimates of surface age, and help them find more pieces of the puzzle that is Mars' geological history. The mission has not been without its challenges. The rover's first attempt at drilling into a rock core came up empty, resulting in an extensive testing campaign to better understand these brittle rocks. The team also needed to clean up any pebbles or small rock fragments that had fallen into the portion of the sampling system that contains the drill bits. The Perseverance rover's air companion, NASA's Ingenuity helicopter on Mars, has proven similarly fearless, grounded for nearly a month after a dust storm before recently resuming flights. Originally scheduled to fly five times, the helicopter has now successfully completed 19 flights, providing a new perspective of the Martian terrain and helping the Perseverance team plan the way forward. What do you think about what the robot rover Perseverance and the Ingenuity helicopter have achieved in their first year on Mars, do you think they will find traces of ancient life? I will read your opinions, let's start a new scientific debate in the comments of this video. As usual, we appreciate you informing us, it is a real pleasure to be able to provide you with the main news, trends and developments, about the most important aspects of aerospace technology and the universe, from the perspective of an engineer. I am the engineer Hitakel Morrison and I invite you to meet again in a future installment.